location. Just walking in. As you can see, I've got the house on the back. Tom's got uh, his PLC Bergen. Probably as full as he's ever had it. And he's doing a sterling job carrying it. Some of the guys stayed here last night and uh, come to meet us. And we've got Mark here, Derbyshire Bushcraft, that's Craig holding the water. Old bushcrafter. Obviously, you've got Fred Norman at the front carrying the goodie bag. So, uh, stay with us. And uh, we'll bring you right back when we get into the woodland. It shouldn't be long by all Okay, catch you in a bit. With the river crossing. We'll, uh, we'll see how this goes. Oh, wow, well, garlic. Can have a salad later. Right, with a tyre there that's solid. Anything else, just um, you can see where there's footsteps that have not sunk and ones that have sunk. But if you watch me go across. Yeah, yeah, right, back. Yeah. We've just been going up to the right, but it needs a bit a little bit of But once you get over here, you just, just gotta go for it. Go that way. Yeah, it's lovely. Go on then. Feeling his element here, wasn't he? What's that, Jay? Ian. Old garlic. Oh, right, is he? He's fond of garlic. Yeah, what's oh, it? Yeah, it does. We collected it for uh, an old guy in the Boozer. He makes sides with it. Crack it, this is good. This one is. Dogs. Wonderful. Oh. Thick in it. Oh. Why is my head up that? Why bother bagging it up if I'm going to bag it out? I don't know what we're on about. Dog shit blossom. I mean, that have been here. Aha! That didn't take as long.
What are you? Kevin Lee, everybody. Okay, right, Andy. Tom, Andy. How are you doing? Yeah. Yeah. I think it'd be a bit too strong for kids to go. Joshy was going to obviously outbox him because he's younger, but then if Klitsch go, then going to take him to school and to, you know, this is how we do it. And he's got one of the pumps now. Yeah. Right, well, we've got Tom's tent up, so he's just got to get his stuff inside now. And I'm going to go and set my gear up. I'll just fill up the handling of chains, though. Well, I'll never have. No, I wouldn't feel like I'd lose this one side to you. I'd have it if it was down, though. I'm sure it holds it. I wouldn't want to change it. That kickback that scared me. Knocked me out. Like a bullet, didn't it? Did you go around? I've never had one. You know, like those big, what are those big spinning sort of things? It's stuff like that, I hate it. I hate it. It's all like it. In the wrong hands. Yeah, I always thought if I ever come to Munich and go to Woodland, I obviously might need one, but I'd go and sit at the course, I'd go and sit at the professional course. It's all properly, you know, training, what it is. better for people now as well because you get like your small saw, your medium saw, your large saw because there's not many large trees left in the UK to yeah. do the training yeah. it's, that's been incorporated into your medium by the way. so you only get a small and medium no, and the medium coming for large trees no it's not, it has a blank screen it's called policy it's still doing well Okay. Right, just thought I'd give you a rundown of my uh, my rig today. Pardon? My sleeping uh, accommodation. So basically, what I've got is a ten foot under green on it. Uh, with a snug pack under blanket. I've got the snug pack jungle sleeping bag inside. I've also got a very light fleece blanket. And also in there, I've got my full softy suit for when it turns colder later on. I've got the uh, DD tarp, 3v3 in multicam. Uh, what I've got to do this week is to lengthen the suspension, the hammock suspension. I've actually uh, used these elements here. Uh, basically run one through the other just there. I know the clip up there but the distance between these trees is significant this week so um, that's what I'm doing. So I've used these two here on me, uh, onto my daisy chain straps up to a dutch clip uh, the ridge line I've got secured with a prussic loop and a toggle and I've also got toggles on here now with uh, bungee cord toggles and then a prussic loop pretty much the same on this end with the exception that instead of using a prussic loop and a, a toggle I'm using one of these figure nine devices so I'm, I'm looking forward to a really good night's sleep Thomas is in his 
Grand Chief 300 Paul's rig with his uh, 4x4 multicam DD front line got Mark down there in his tent with a pot, uh, with a uh, tarp hover and then down there you've got Craig or Bushcrafter and the DD 4x4 multicam and he's got the 10th wonder triple layer is it Craig? is it the triple layer? Yeah. I'm at which is basically the same as mine but it's got a removable base is it removable the base on it? yeah I've, I've took the base off yeah and you've got Kev's Frontline XL under another DD 4x4 and under this 10th Wonder Sargasso I don't know what that is what's that hammock there? Yeah. DD Scout alright oh, it's a DD Scout so that's the, uh, that's the camp See, we've got fire going. I'll just show you this thing I've been making this afternoon. I've made myself a battening mallet from piece piece of pine. So about an hour's worth of work there with the axe. Ultra Fours OK1 and my Mora Elders. So that's just a walk around camp. Now that we're all established and it must be time for some more food. So, I'll catch you later. Right, brother. Hey, mate, see? How's it going? Alright. Yeah, good. Nice here, isn't it? Ah, lovely. Hey, the wood. And found some trees. Craft beer. Yeah. That's turned up then. Jay. Yeah, it's smart, look. Oh, it's tough? Yeah. Look at that. It seems really beautiful, though. I think it's Yeah. I'm a bit of a big. Oh, nice. Oh, we found some trees. Let's see this tree. Look. It's tight, that one. This is my big thing. I've found some. It's got a silver. It's a funny tree, Val. Okay. Here and there. Oh, is that too far? Might be too far, so it's a big gap there, isn't it? No, we'll right, need to tend the sausages. Oh, hey, oh, caught you. <laughs> Kit's off. Tits out. Right. Inductee for the Hall of Rat Pack. Mr. Thomas. Cheers. Wear it proud and wear it loud, mate. Cheers. Straight on. Right now, Thomas's father is welling up. <laughs> <laughs> Hold it together, Andy. <laughs> Cut that. So proud of my boy. <laughs> like his graduation all Cut over that. again. That's it. <laughs> Perfect fit. Off on. Oh, off Tom. Congratulations, Beth. Are we having a love? Are we having a cut? Are we having a man of love? <laughs> <laughs> This is a little debris shelter that 
Mark and Lily have put together, and Tom. That's Mike set up over there. So we've been for a little bit of a walk around. Everybody's walking around with cameras at the minute. I'm going to walk around here. I've not been down here yet. So Kev actually has permission to camp in here. Uh, so we're all right. And uh, the little gully down there is the boundary of the land, so he's not allowed to camp the other side of the gully. Because that belongs to somebody else. But this particular wood is a wild campus paradise. You've got more than three different species of tree growing in here. You've got, obviously, where I'm stood right now, there's the pine stuff. And you've got sycamore. And you've got ash. So, plenty of stuff to burn. I don't know if you can see that over there, but that's uh, a pheasant feeder. Wild garlic over there. So you've got loads of wild edibles. This is sycamore yellow. The good thing about this place is that it's a well managed wood and the guy who owns this wood just leaves it for us or for Kev and his mates so like that there big pile of brush that's already been cut as long as he keeps it clean and tidy tidies up after the kids Cause they do get kids coming in here and like basically leaving everything to bring in as long as we tidy up and we're clean then there's no problem what on earth is that? I don't know what that is It's a really lovely wood, this. Oh yeah, birch. Plenty of birch in here. So this is like more sorrel. And I've actually tasted a bit of that tonight when we went out. So look at the burl that was on a big tree over, over that way. I forgot to take the camera with me. But you can see wild camping and bushcrafting paradise. So let's have a little walk back now. It's even elderberry that there. We've had a bit of a snack tea 
and once it goes dark, it's about 10 o'clock, we'll have the, the usual. We'll have the usual Nando's chicken supper. Kev's not experienced this yet, so I'll make sure he gets a, a big piece or a couple of pieces. But uh, we're having a great time, Just chilling out around the fire. Tom's enjoying it. He's now a fully fledged member of the Rat Pack because he's got the t-shirt. It was a proud moment. <laughs> right, back at camp now. Catch you later. Yeah, it's really similar. It puts it out. I think the rat's just slightly like different. On fire. I think my rat was more like a mouth without a big ear. folks, 7 o'clock, um, good night's sleep, feet are a little bit cool, but they always are, everything else is lovely warm, <sighs> sorry, a couple of you guys are already up, um, let's see, Cook is um, already getting the fire going again. It appears to be another lovely morning. Right, I need to motivate myself to go and uh, get out of this. Uh, Hammock and uh, gonna find a tree. <laughs> okay, I'll bring you back soon. Good morning again. All right, I've had my pot of tea, so all's well in the world. That's got the fire going. Kevin okay, just woke up. Not a bad night's sleep actually. Cold feet again, but that's just me. The rest of me was toasty. Look at the band. See what we can see. So it was about 7 o'clock when I got up, and it's now 8.37. The oven's half packed. All that's left now really is the uh, stuff I need. Get some breakfast on. Just, just seeing these warm clothes. Um, I'll still be going back in the bag and I won't be wearing them on the walk out. Just need to walk up a little bit. Not warm up a little bit. Just uh, Look around your hand. Get your hand warm in it. <laughs> so what we got going on now is bacon. No. Here's one we did earlier. Who's on there? Coffee, coffee for the morning. Bacon. Dangly bacon. Mm. Right, it's going there. He's giving me all the best stuff. Drop down onto mine. I'm going to yeah. <laughs> Right, let we'll see what mess is in here. Start putting some stuff away. <laughs> Right, we're all packed up now. 
Uh, as I've said before, this is his permission wood, but still leave it as you found it and all that. So that's where I was. From there, you know that pole that's going to get moved to that tree there. And Tom was here. So all I've done is I've just scuffed back all the surface debris that he displaced before he put his tent down. And uh, as usual, leave no trace. So this has been a really enjoyable weekend, well, overnight. Uh, Tom's had a good time, I've had a good time, everybody's had a good time. Some healthy debate last night, after a few years obviously, and uh, No, uh, no, well, no, uh, no falling out, which is always good. No need for falling out. Healthy debate is good. Falling out isn't. So I might do a bit, of, a bit more filming just to say, you know, the goodbyes and whatnot. Uh, but if I don't, thanks for watching so far. I know I've not shot a lot this weekend. It's been more about the chilling out, enjoying stuff. I'm sure you'll see this uh, location from a million more angles with uh, our once Paul Pet Nomad, Mike Ginger Bushcraft, Grey Gull Bushcrafter, Mark Derbyshire Bushcraft and even the host himself, Kev. Once they all get their videos uploaded, so see you later. Right, I need to get going now, so I'm going to say bye bye to everybody. And uh, as soon as he's nearest, for Paul. Right, Matty. Yeah. The next one, probably Edel right. now. Oh, yeah. yeah. Mark. Yeah, cheers. Oh, that one. Good day. Cheers, mate. All right, cheers. Yeah. You're, in, yeah, you're at Edel, aren't you? Yeah. Cool. Yeah. See you there. Move on over. Craig. We're off. Always a pleasure, mate. Alright. Lily, shake your hand, love. Nice meeting you, Kev. Up, boy. Take care, brother. Yeah, and you. Cracking place you've got here. Thanks for having us all. And uh, last but not least. Mr. Ginger Bushcraft. Right, brother. Pleasure. Yeah. Get you on camera, right? Yeah. So that's it. That's another one done. Just got to walk out this wood now. Stay tuned. Stay tuned, even. Debris thick in it. Yeah, it's very soft under in it. Whoa! There's a hole here. I'll just, uh, I'd probably just destroyed somebody's 
from his home. <laughs> Tom, but go okay. that way. That's it. I'll put this hill here. I thought Lincoln's just supposed to be flat. making me breathe a little hard. 